Hello there you guys. Today has been an interesting day. I don't know what's going on with my hair. My skin has been really bad and my apartment just feels off, right? Yeah, the energy's just not right. I know, baby, yeah. <laughs> so today I figured I would take you all along with me while I kind of attempted to do something about it. And this will be the first time I get to try out this new um, vloggy, crafty format with you all. Um, I have started a few videos on it so far and they are so much fun to make, but this will be the first one that I'll make that will be coming out for you all. Or the first one that you all will see. I think that made sense, but anywho, today I thought we'd conquer that issue that I'm having with the uh, apartment. <laughs> and maybe for Although, apparently, I'm needed here first. Hi, Nubby. Okay, hello, sorry. There was a uh, hazel intermission there. And another. Anywho, as I said before, the energy of my space has just been feeling really cloudy and clogged and stagnant and just it's not productive anymore. And as I've said in many videos over the last couple of months, I've noticed that this happens a lot quicker in the city, which is no big deal, but I am always kind of on the hunt for a new way to cleanse a space. And I've done a couple of videos on this in the past. I've found some methods that help to keep it uh, nice for longer, but doing that one big overall cleansing of the entire space has been kind of challenging for me to figure out. Ideally, I like to use smoke cleanses, and that's what I've used in all the years past. My favorite has always been to use cedar and just burn it in the space, but being in an apartment, I feel like that is sometimes a little bit rude for all the other people around me, and so I only tend to use that to cleanse areas before spell working, something that's much smaller scale than the entire room. And so I figured I'd kind of dip back into the past a bit and try to use something like an herbal spray. Herbal sprays, or in this case, a cleansing spray, is something that I've made a couple of times in my history and I've made once or twice here on this channel, though it's always been kind of combined with other ideas. However, today I figured I'd put far more focus onto them. Herbal sprays are a really versatile way of infusing uh, energy into a space. And as I'm going to focus on cleansing today, that's what I'll be sharing with you and figuring out with you. But you could also use them to put sleep energy or loving energy or calming energy into a space. And today I want to test out two ways of doing it. One I've done in the past, but I'm not super keen on doing again. And the other is one I haven't done before, but I imagine will be just as successful, if not more. So the first way I plan to go about it is uh, using essential oils. Essential oils are not always my favorite way to work with herbs. I tend to feel kind of disconnected from them and often they can be kind of challenging to work with. Sometimes they're toxic for animals and they are just, there's a lot of precautions that have to go into working with them that I don't particularly love, especially because I'm not very well versed in them. I did some research before sitting down to film this video and get to work on it on which ones were safe for dogs, but I found a lot of conflicting information and I'm not really sure what to trust. So I have done my best guess on ones that will be okay, but I'm not 100% sure and probably won't end up using that spray in this space. I'll probably just gift it to somebody else. If any of you have a resource on safe essential oils to use with dogs and other pets, I would really love to hear about it in the comments. It would be really helpful and uh, yeah, then I can kind of help more with sharing this stuff in the future. The other way I want to go about this is to make an herbal infusion, kind of like a tea with lots of different herbs and just use this infusion to cleanse the space. I think this way will be much safer for my sweet hazel as it's not as concentrated and I am hopeful that it will be just as effective, if not more. So let's jump into the ingredients I've chosen. Okay, 
I made the mistake of moving the camera once, so now I think I will just leave it here um, and come back for my talking check-ins right here. But anywho, for both iterations of this cleansing spray, I'm gonna be using the same ingredients, just one done with essential oils and the other done with, well, herbs. And so what I've chosen to work with is lemon, rose, and lavender. It's very rare for me to create a cleansing or purifying something without using lemon. It's one of the most effective, in my opinion, and also one of the most accessible ingredients for these kinds of spells. And for this one, I intend on mainly using the peel. Then, for the other two ingredients, something that I found through my years of doing this is that once you've used a cleansing element, there is kind of this empty space. And while it can be just left empty, I find it's best to work and fill it with something that you wish to, an energy that you wish to. Thus comes in the rose and lavender. Rose will bring in a more loving energy, while lavender brings in a calming one. And those are both things that I like to have in my atmosphere. If you just kind of leave the space empty, it does allow for, I found at least, quicker infestation of bad energy, especially if you are in an environment like me, like a city, that has a lot of competing energies and vibes and things kind of just existing all around you. And so saying, hey, this is what it's going to be, by adding some other ingredients to fill that void, it maintains that feeling for significantly longer. Plus, this is an incredibly versatile step. You could add herbs to increase focus or make the environment better for sleeping or just anything that your heart desires. Just get creative with it and use what speaks to you. So let's get started, shall we? Alrighty, so here's the plan. First, I think I'm going to fill up the essential oils bottle with, well, the oils and some water while I wait for the water over here to boil for the infusion. Alrighty, so essential oil check, right as uh, this one is starting to boil. Perfect timing. I'll go over what I did with this one at the end. But first, let's start on this one. Now to just allow this to steep a little bit longer and then probably cool off before placing it into the uh, jars or bottles. <laughs> Thank you. 
And here they are, complete. Essential oil and infusion. This one has a few uh, particulates inside of it, but that's okay. It'll help to uh, tell the difference. Alrighty, there we go. So they are both complete. I am very happy with both of them. And I figured I would just give a little recap of each one kind of in a similar fashion to how I used to do my videos, just for any of you that want to follow along. So let's get into it. So for this video, I wanted to try to make a cleansing spray, one that was apartment friendly and also dog friendly. So in doing so, I thought I would try two separate methods, an essential oil method and an infusion method. Essential oils make me a little bit nervous around dogs. I personally don't know enough about them to feel comfortable using them in my space with my sweet girl, but I know a lot of people enjoy using them in their craft and just in general, and so I figured why not do that method alongside one that's a little bit more friendly for our furry friends and uh, also really accessible and doing an infusion. So essential oil and infusion. Prior to this, I had never tried making a magical spray with just an infusion, and so this was a really fun experiment. For each, I used the same ingredients, lemon, rose, and lavender. I used the lemon for its cleansing and purifying properties. This is to clear out that negativity and stagnant energy in the space. And then I used the rose and the lavender for their loving and calming properties. And I use these to kind of fill in that cleared energy area that the uh, lemon took care of. However, of course, as always, you are totally welcome to use any herbs that speak to you and ones that make the most sense for you. I touched on this earlier, but I will say it again. You don't have to just use calming and loving energies in your space. If you wish to have more sleep or uh, sweet dreams or focus, it doesn't all have to be sleep related. <laughs> Uh, feel free to add herbs that apply for that or ones that feel right to you. You also are very welcome to just do a fully cleansing spray and kind of let the energy be what the energy is going to be. Alrighty, now with that said and out of the way, let's jump into how to make each, starting first with the essential oil way. Begin by adding the oils into the bottle. I added just a couple of drops each, not too much because it is very potent, and while I was doing so, I added some intention. Personally, I am a very visual person with intention. I visualize my intent moving through my body and into what I'm crafting. But for those with any other preferred form of intention working, feel free to incorporate what works best for you. And I have a whole video on that, which I will link up above and down below. Then once each of the oils have been moved into the bottles, I added in just plain old tap water. Now if I had been living not in the city, I would probably go a little bit out of my way to get water from a natural source, but I do not have that access at the moment, so any old water will do. Then once it's full, Take another moment to sit with it and infuse your intent into it. Then cap it off and use it. Just go around your space and spray it about. Personally, when I am using cleansing sprays or uh, just cleansing things in general like this, I work through the room towards the windows and I'll open the windows to kind of help just push everything out. Of course, infuse intent while you're doing this as well. And now to make the infusion, herbal infusion spray. It's very similar and only just a little bit different. Begin by bringing some water to a boil. Then add all of your herbs to a bowl, infusing intent with each one and really focusing on what you're desiring from them. When the water's boiling, add it on top of the herbs. Then allow the infusion to, well, infuse and cool completely before pouring it into the bottle.
Once this is done, cap it off, add a bit more attention, and go about it the same way you would have with the uh, essential oil one. And that's pretty much it. For the essential oils, I noticed it was far more fragrant. It was a little bit easier and quicker to make, but that was really it. The infusion was a little bit more involved, and personally, I enjoy being able to touch the herbs I was using, and all of them were ones, or most of them were ones that I had uh, gathered myself, which made them feel a little more uh, connected to me, and that's how I prefer to work in my craft when I can. Besides, that one is definitely a little bit safer for pets, which is very important to me. But either or works, and it's really up to preference and what is most uh, functional in your life. So feel free to use either method, change them up, and just have fun with it. I will say my apartment smells amazing, and you know, I started this day not feeling super great, and now it just feels so much better, and I'm really looking forward to sitting down and editing this video up for you all. And I think I'm gonna close it out here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new format. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and any constructive criticisms that you do have because I wanna keep growing and figuring out ways to make these videos better for you guys while still having fun. Also, if you haven't checked out my other channel, I would recommend checking it out. All of the videos there tend to be pretty vloggy, but they're very cinematic vlogs, if that makes sense. And there are sneak peeks to videos coming in certain times, and it just shows a lot more of the daily magic in my life. And also, I know it's not for everybody, but if you can and you wanna help support this channel, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share my art, purple profiles, and some other fun things, and it's a really great community. And I know I said, and I completely understand that's not for everybody, but it really is what keeps things running over here, so I am so eternally grateful for all of you that are there. So, thank you, and I will see you all soon.